welcome back to the channel everybody hope you guys are doing well thanks for joining today we are on the brighton branch which uh whew, we haven't been here in a while but uh i've got some fantastic news for you today if you haven't yet looked at the title this baby is done and uh i'm putting a new version on the download station i'll give the kuid in the description for that as well as its name plus i went ahead and uploaded a new single player session as well which comes with a few small changes just to make sure everything works out well. But to, yeah, in this video, we're going to go ahead here to this section and finish up the town of Valley View. Make it uh, look fantastic and lovely. And then essentially, I just want to kind of blabber on a bit about uh, the great things about the Brighton branch. So I will be honest with you, if you go back and look at my playlist of videos on this route, I use uh, the k &L trains Canadian national set of small steam locomotives. There's like maybe eight or nine locomotives now from Canadian national that uh, Steve Lero has made over there on KNL trains. I uh, highly would recommend using those actually. Uh, honestly, when I put this session together, I didn't exactly find the greatest locomotives on the download station at the time because it's been a while. There have been some new ones added on since then that honestly could use a uh, serious consideration. But when I built it for myself, I built it in mind with the plan of using those uh, Canadian National Steam Locomotives, you know, the little 260 and 460 and 280 and all those small ones, 060s and everything. So highly recommend getting those. But uh, this is an action-packed layout. If you've never seen it before, here's a great kind of preview of all of it as I kind of run around a bit. But um, it's a branch line that runs from a staging yard right there all the way to the other end of the route, which is like a terminal yard. And then from there, we run uh, different locals to different towns and... Uh, we kind of run like two, we call them relays, two trains a day that run to the staging and back. It's an HO scale, 27 foot by 27 foot layout. And I love it. I made a video on almost every train that you could run. Uh, and then that's when I had my hard drive failure and I lost all of my previous uh, JMRI data and everything that I had. And I just never got around to, to remaking it. So uh, that's why I didn't continue any videos. There were still, I think, three or four more trains left to run, but essentially the way I designed it, it's the branch line itself is Canadian National. Uh, you could The session you'll see has like some Canadian Pacific locomotives on there That's because that's what was on the download station. I know they're not the same. And then it interchanges with the Southern Pacific here in Valley View and it interchanges with the Union Pacific uh, between the, the town of Brighton and um, Hartley. Now we'll be honest, you can make the railroads that it interchanges with whatever you want. So I would highly recommend that you just get the session off the download station. It's free. And then just replace all the locomotives with whatever locomotives you would like. The setting, you could get away with the setting being anything between the late 1920s up until uh, early 1950s. And it would look just fine. So when I created it, I was definitely thinking, you know, late 1920s, early 1930s. But I definitely love this route. Maybe at some point I'll make a few more videos on it. Uh, no guarantees, no promises, I'm not really sure. But another nice thing about this route is it does actually have a couple of places where the track runs off into the backdrop. And that actually makes for a really great opportunity to expand the railroad. So that's something for you to consider as well. If you guys that uh, like to build a little bit here and there and add to routes, once you download it, you can, you can expand it as much as you want. You know, as is usually the case, just don't re-upload any of your uh, modifications to the download station because that would be a violation of the uh, copyright. But outside of that, modify it to your heart's content for yourself. I did throw an iPortal in there over uh, on the side where all the industries are that the UP would switch. Uh, I didn't make a video about that, but there is an iPortal over there. You'll be able to find it, and you can use that to send trains to friends if you'd like. But uh, yeah, we're just, you know, polishing up a few things here, getting things looking all nice, not worrying too much about uh, what's going on with my life. It was it was really nice to take a little break and just go back to working on this thing. I really, really enjoy everything about this route. Uh, glad that I had a, a version that was saved on the download station so I could, you know, get it back once the uh, once I got a new computer after my hard drive failed a few years ago. That was a tragic experience, but sadly not one that I experienced for the first time. It's happened several times, sadly. But uh, yeah, love this thing. Let's see, here's the interchange yard. Not bad. Just grabbing, I think I was grabbing a fence spline. Yeah, getting a fence laid out here. 
you know, the nice thing about this route too, at least for me looking back, is I can kind of see my progression as a route builder and, and I can really see my growth. So my first route I ever made for the public was the North Texas Beltline. Uh, it was great. I love it. I, I still have immense love for that route, but I didn't use any grass blinds or any turfex anywhere. And so it has a, a, at times it has this look of being a little barren. And it doesn't really bother me because, you know, I understand where my route building skills are at and they've improved and that's fine. You have to start somewhere and it's good to be able to look back and see where I've been. But, you know, this was the second route that I started working on. And here, my scenery work and, and just environmental work in general was even better because I got a better feel for, you know, getting some nice trackside details, uh, getting fence lines, trees, grass, all that stuff lined up. I, I didn't use any turf fix yet, but that was fine. You know, that comes with time as well. But it's just a really nice progression for myself personally to see, you know, my growth. And and I like it. So it's it's better than the North Texas Beltline as far as details goes. Uh, but there was still even more improvement that would be had. And that would come with the KCS Greenville sub and the, um, the Cotton Belt or SSW Coxton sub. That one is a full route. I'm trying to get that done this year. But that's got turf X all over the place, which obviously now I know I'm going to have to replace that with clutter. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll get that change made when the time comes. So we'll worry about that later. But uh, yeah, you know, it's just I just like looking back at at my growth. I think I think if you don't show yourself the things in the areas where you grow, I think you miss out on part of the part of the journey and part of the fun. You know, I enjoy building routes because I like looking at pretty stuff. I like making things that I don't have. But, uh, you know, at the same time, it's I care about doing a good job as well. And I like the fact that I can look back and see clear evidence that I have learned and developed, you know, better skills. So, but uh, yeah, this will be free on the download station. By the time this video posts, it might actually be ready because uh, it would have been two days since I uploaded it. And it takes a little bit of time. So feel free to check. But like I said, I'll have the name and the KUID for the route and the session in the... Uh, in the description of this video on YouTube. So if you want to get into multiplayer, I do have an old multiplayer session. I would assume that might still work actually. Um, you know, if you find out that it doesn't still work, uh, let me know. And if there's people that want to play it, I can always uh, remake it. So I did learn that if you run trains 22, you can't do multiplayer with someone in trains 2019 made me sad, <laughs> but it's all good. Anyways, just wanted to uh, let you guys know that it's out there. And I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Those of you guys that have been, that guys that have been waiting on it. So, ooh, sorry. I apologize. It's been so long, but we finally made it. Hope you guys will enjoy. And as always, I'll catch you guys out there next time.